after my first session with my North Mode 7 meter, I got two cuts in the hand wing. What happened was I had the hand wing attached to the board downwind and then a, a north wind, probably an eddy, blew it back up on the foil. And I think this would actually have held just fine. There's one and there's the other. If the foil was on, or if this was on the foil, I think it would have held just fine. But the wind was blowing against it and it was a solid south wind day for the whole day, so it's very odd. I'm going to use an anchoring system in the future, probably a big milk or big. Uh, going to use a big laundry detergent jug filled with sand, just away from everything. Because if you attach to a board or even a bench, um, it could flap back up and and damage it. So that's what I'm going to do with that. So I was referred by Mike Ryan to contact Matt with the kite lesson and I'll attach a link on there and I sent photos and he recommended using this tear aid type a it's for fabric and type b is for like rubber or latex it even has a, a picture of uh, a kite on there so that's kind of cool um he said this nothing he's tried a bunch of stuff nothing sticks better and because this location it does it's under tension but it's not under high tension for these spots that will be better he also mentioned you don't want to sew a hand wing if not necessary obviously you want to do it but um sewing especially if i do it by hand could potentially create other issues with the strength so yeah I will definitely hire Matt in the future if I have any bigger repairs. Really great to get good reviews like that. And I'll put a link in the description for his, uh, his kites, kite lessons or repair shop. So first off, use denatured alcohol. I already did denatured alcohol on the other side. It's been drying for a few hours. Make sure it's dry. And there we go. Just make sure any oil from manufacturing, it's not really dirty. Um, also, I was recommended to use this not when it's cold out, use it when it's at least 70 degrees. So I bumped up the temperature in the house to 72 degrees, so it should apply really well. But he said you don't need to use um, a, an iron or a hairdryer or anything. Just nice and warm is fine. Here's what comes as a kit. Instructions, good thorough instructions for underwater, uh, the vinyl type A, oh, type B, and the fabric type A. Small patch, medium patch, big patch. And it has a filament. This is just a, a filament to help strength if it is on the outside of an edge. And it has 70% isopropyl alcohol. I'm using something I use just denatured alcohol. alcohol. I'm going to actually try this, or I'm going to use this because it comes with it. And this is not a big repair, but it's an important repair. So I'm going to do this here. I'll do the other side. I'm going to cut out two squared with rounded edges and two rectangular with rounded edges. I got my four patches. Good thing they're, they're clear because they're not exactly cut, but it should be fine and not very noticeable because the other side is probably not visible from the other side. I just read instructions, it says do in 50 degrees or warmer, that makes sense. So maybe it's, you know, 40 degrees is way too cold, but I think the 72 is good. And also it says have it an inch extended past the cut. Well, this one's so close to the seam, it's not going to be an option. The other one's just a straight line. So it's it's pretty close to the cut as far as the, the extra distance, but I think these smaller patches are going to be good for this exact area. All right. And it says tear back half carefully first. Set an anchor point. Make sure it doesn't fold on itself. And it says take care to avoid air bubbles. And this has the L fold, so I want to make sure it doesn't fold funny. Let's push back. Okay. Okay, pretty good. And it says also aggressively rub in. So I'm going to spend a moment to rub that in. Cool. <laughs> Barely noticeable. Ah! 
That's awesome. <laughs> okay. That is opened up. Make sure I this is well. Okay. Push from this side and fan out. Get on up it for a moment. Okay, that has been rubbed in nicely. It took some time to find it. <laughs> so, you can see it zoomed in. With the other area passed, but I'll show it probably more now, but let's carefully remove half. Open it up. And push one end to reduce air bubbles. I don't go into seam possible. Just right to the edge of the seam. done yes it's fixed so nervous and this is so easy that's awesome so it's uh it has a bit of it let's see it says it has 50 percent adhesion right away and then 100 percent after hours so i'll probably leave it out here before i roll it up just in case but uh yeah Ooh. let's see Happy dance. Woo! Gotta fix, gotta fix. Ready for the water. Yeah! <laughs> Happy dance. Okay, so uh, yeah, let me know if this content is valuable to you. Like, subscribe, and share. And if you found a way that you like to do it better, let me know. This is the first canopy I have ever repaired. And thanks again to shout out for Matt. Also on Facebook, uh, on Northwest Wind, Wind Wing Talk, I had some good information on how to do this and get some more information. But yeah, thanks and have a great day. Bye!